think chickens being in cage, it can lead to lots of different stresses. They spend their whole lives in cages. They get parts of their beaks cut off and they, so that they don't hurt each other, each other uh, when they're fighting. It is very hard to keep track of individual birds. When they are sick or injured, it will be very hard to give them the attention they need. Also, with the lack of room that, that the poultry have, they get very little exercise. This means their bones are very weak and can break easily. Uh, research has found that hens cannot express normal behaviors like flapping their wings, dust buzzing, and perching and foraging. Hens cannot get away from another hen's fighting. They can't nest because there is minimal amount of space for nesting. Furthermore, with cages being stacked on top of each other to save space, the hens have urine and face that fall on them for the hens above. This is bad living environment and can result in sickness. Therefore, I think that we should ban the use of cages. Recently, Canada passed new legislation stating that battery cages would begin to be phased out with a targeted completion date of 2036. This time frame was established to give producers enough time to properly change over as 90% of egg production in Canada is currently sourced from hens and battery cages. Producers have the choice of which new system to implement into their operation over that time. While some consumers are pushing for a move purely to free-range housing, many scientists and producers disagree with this approach. Quote, we all started as free-range. Then the government's egg board came around in the 60s and 70s, saying you need to get these birds off the ground and into cages. We dropped our mortality rates dramatically. End quote. Many farmers are in favor of enriched cages as these offer increased space with adjustments that allow for hens to exhibit their natural behaviors. Uh, so our question is, how can you ensure that a chicken lives in the cage can maintain a good health due to the environment? And how about the ratio of producing the dirty or the unhealthy eggs? Within an enriched cage, birds are given the opportunity of an increased space over the battery cage. They go unlike the old battery cages that a lot of your evidence is on. The enriched cage has a belt underneath that takes away all the feces and urine. The eggs are caught, rolled down to the end, cleaning those eggs, protecting those eggs from getting contaminated. The birds are able to stay healthy because the enriched cages give them more space. They have room for perching, for dust baths, they have privacy spots and there is reduced amounts of cannibalism within that due to a hierarchy formed. Enriched housing gives hens increased advantages over old battery cages. They are given blocked off nesting areas that allow them to lay eggs in peace. They contain scratch pads, privacy areas, areas to perch, and dust baths to allow them to exhibit all their natural behavior. Enriched housing has lower aggression and pecking behavior which reduces the amount of cat cannibalism drastically. The overall carbon footprint is lower in enriched cages than it is in free range. Um, modern science on animal welfare indicates that battery style cages are not large enough to allow chickens to perform their in meat behaviors. Uh, so if the customers want the healthy eggs and the chicken, then why still use the cage since we already know this way the ratio of raising unhealthy hens will be higher than the cage free? Regulations are set by governing bodies to ensure that all farmers meet the required standards, ensuring that all chickens receive the best level of care they can. This is evident with the regulation move to all battery cages from from use for 2036. And in one study, production performance was in best enriched in best in enriched cages compared to battery and free run systems. Many companies like McDonald's and AW have switched their sourcing of eggs to cage free hens. Quote. Our science-based welfare committee did not make that decision to go cage-free. It was a marketing system, end quote. This was a statement made by Temple Grandin. These claims and changes have been brought forward by unscientific claims from activist groups. How do these changes of going cage-free 
benefit the hen's welfare when it is being based on a marketing decision? So, uh, in our research, the EU, EU has uh, go out for the cage-free uh, five years ago, you know, without any major detriment to the industry. And also, we can see that the uh, the cage size is only two A4 paper sheets, and uh, the the birds stepping on each other in an attempt to find space to move. So in that case, we believe that cage free have more space uh, to let the birds to get uh, activities. Uh, furthermore, the industry will spend a little more money to go cage free, but the customer are more willing to pay more money to buy the healthy eggs and the chicken. How can you convince consumers to support chicken cages when society is leaning towards having a more humane environment for animals? Consumers just don't have the right facts. Battery cages are being phased out within Canada. As of last year, we've set in the standard that by 2036 they will be removed. In favor of those are going to be enriched cages or free range. Within that, science has proved that enriched cages cause the hens the least amount of stress, the least amount of cannibalism, and the least amount of keel bone injuries. While the consumers don't understand that, a lot of that is from false information from activist groups. Enriched or furnished cages are more economically viable than a free run system. In a study done by Lane Hen Housing Research Project, Free run systems were 23% more expensive in producing eggs in rich colony systems. Higher mortality, lower production, and overall higher capital costs are the reason for the higher price. Now, do you think that the average consumer would want to pay more for cage free eggs? Um, studies have found that battery hens have a 25, ti 25 times higher chance of contracting salmonella than their cage-free counterparts. Additionally, as mentioned above, they are more susceptible to disease, which separates rapidly in large, dense flocks. Why wouldn't farmers or companies want to switch to cage-free environments when free-range hens have a high ratio of producing healthier eggs and caged hens, since consumers are willing to pay more for something healthier? Now, these enriched cages do have upgrades and have increased room in them and have the ability for the hen to move around. By being with only a small amount of birds, a natural hierarchy is formed, preventing long-term aggression. Increased space, such as free range, can result in more stress as there are too many birds for a hierarchy leading to more aggression and cannibalism. Non-cage systems have the highest level of risk involved, including disease and cannibalism, which brings higher mortality rates. This is due to a large amount of birds not being able to establish a hierarchy and the bird's cannibalistic nature. This is reduced in enriched cages as only 10 to 100 birds are kept together. They are able to perform their natural behaviors by giving them freedom to move around and act freely as they desire. A lack of exercise combined with depleted calcium from con constant egg laying leads to weakness and brittle bones amongst factory farm hens. And uh, we think it's good for the hens because chickens that live on the factory farms leave their uh, stuff into the cage with several another chickens, each with the space of size of sheet of note uh, notebook paper. This gives them a little room to stretch their wings uh, or turn around. So if the EU already shipped to the cage free, why Canada account? The United Kingdom has only partially switched to a cage free. You guys keep making claims about battery cages. Within the standards that Canada has laid in, battery cages are being taken out completely. 
We're trying to put across the point that enriched cages are where we're going. The United Kingdom uses enriched cages. They have not went to completely egg free or sorry cage free. They're using enriched cages and free range. This is where Canada is currently going as scientists have proven that that shows the most benefits to the chicken for multiple reasons. Many consumers have little practical knowledge about how their food is produced. They pick up the food packaged at the store without, without ever understanding what goes into it before. These same people are the ones that are pushing for legislation changes and animal welfare even though they don't have any experience within the industry. Do you think this is a safe and practical option to leave major decisions like these in the hands of those who are uneducated on the topic? Whenever you buy eggs, you make a choice about the type of food you want to serve at your table. We believe that us humans have a responsibility to treat the animals that we produce our food in a humane, kind, and responsible way. Change is possible and our dollar speaks, that's why we encourage you to choose humanely raised cage-free eggs. Okay, closing statements when you're ready. Okay. Last question will go when you're ready. Okay. So we'll go first. Yeah. Okay. We believe that we, sh we should ban the use of cage to raise the hens because it will cause many health issues and a high ratio to lay the dirty eggs. The farmer and the producer should move to cage-free to prevent and give co the customer better quality eggs and chickens. Uh, if the EU uh, phased out the battery cage more than five years ago without any determinants to industry, why don't, uh, we don't see why Canada can't do the same. Modern science on animal welfare indicates the battery cages are not big enough to allow chickens to perform their regular behaviors. Scientific studies have shown that battery hens suffer in intensely and continuously all the time when they are confined in cages, restricted movement, con constant exposure to the wire floor and lack of perches lead to serious bone and muscle weakness. We believe cages cause too many stresses on hens and is not humane compared to cage free. This is why we think that cage cages should be banned in Canada. Internationally, changes to get rid of battery cages are progressing. Canada has made changes to their legislation to begin phasing out battery cages with strict deadlines in place to meet these standards. By using enriched cages, producers are trying to provide the hens with the most comfort possible while also keeping them safe, all while trying to stay competitive economically. These systems have shown lower levels of mortality rates and stress while giving the hens their five freedoms. Most support for cage removal has come from unscientific evidence and activist groups spreading false knowledge. Cage-free can result in floor-laying eggs, and the UK still uses enriched cages. Most support for cage, or outright ban on all cages in Canada is not necessary, nor is it a smart decision. When looking at the overall welfare of the hens, enriched cages provide the most benefits available with the least negative effects, considering no system will ever be perfect. Good job.